disappointed but determined despite losing his case. One of my mission will be to, to, to inspire people to be themselves. Now in his 20s, Jahami Gabriel's legal battle dates back to his childhood. His dream was to perform, and though he was born deaf with treacher Collins syndrome, a surgery made it possible for Gabriel to hear and sing. He skyrocketed to fame and even sang for the Pope. Then in 2010, comedian Mike Ward performed this stand-up bit. He poked fun at Quebec's untouchables, celebrities generally not laughed at. Ward joked about the way Gabriel sang, how he looked, and said he once tried to kill him. Gabriel and his mother went to the courts. They complained that kids at school were bullying him and that the comments were discriminatory. The Quebec Human Rights Tribunal agreed, but Ward challenged it all the way to the Supreme Court and won. I think it's a victory for Mike Ward, certainly, but also for liberty across the country. In a split ruling, the Supreme Court says Ward's comments may have been repugnant, but that alone isn't enough. The judges say the jokes exploited, rightly or wrongly, a feeling of discomfort in order to entertain, but they did little more than that. And so they don't meet the bar for discrimination. I do not think Mike Ward went too far in that joke. This comedian is a friend and longtime colleague of Mike Ward. I will acknowledge that it's unfortunate that a child was injured uh, by it. As for Gabriel and what he'd like to say to Ward? I would want to tell him if, if today... I weren't here to talk about it because I would have took my own life. How, how would he feel? How, would, how would, would, would he react? Would he talk about freedom of speech? Ward says he's relieved but not happy. Je suis soulagé. He says he wishes Gabriel success and the best in life. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News, Montreal.